Hello and welcome. This is an answer video to a request for the following Unity project. It's about choosing your game character. In this example you can select Ethan or a rabbit, then define a name and finally create your character. Then the next level is loaded and here on the right you can see the chosen type the name and a description. I will show you how to implement this by yourself, but if you are too lazy you can download this from my Patreon account if you are my Patreon. So let's see. In the prefabs folder I have two characters, this rabbit and Ethan, and I attached a class called character info with three properties called name which is not visible in the inspector, the character type and a description. The character type is like an ID so that the character manager knows which character to instantiate and the description is just a string. In this demo scene I created a spawn point which is an empty object and this is the position where all the characters are instantiated. The next important object is the character manager, which is an empty object with a script called character manager assigned. Let's have a look at this character manager script in Visual Studio. We have an array of characters to choose from and a spawn point where these characters are created on the pedestal. The current index and the current character type defines the selected character on the pedestal and the current character will be created when you press the select button. If you set persist to true this means that this object, this character manager won't be destroyed when we switch to a different level. This can be achieved by using the don't destroy onload method for this object. Because we want to keep this object alive when we selected the character and switch to the next level. Ok let's come to the API of the character manager. The first method is the set current character type which is called when the character types like Ethan or the rabbit as shown in the introduction are switched. Then the new prefab of this character type is instantiated and spawned at the spawn point. The current index member is set to the index parameter. And the same logic can be called by the set current character type with the name of this type like Ethan or the rabbit. When pressing the select button then the create current character method is called and the parameter name is the text you entered into the input box. This object, this current character isn't destroyed also because we want to keep it alive when we are loading the next scene. I'm using the scene 1 but you can change this as you like. And the last method is the get current character which returns the character we just created. Ok, let's have a look at the UI. I created a canvas and a panel and a few buttons. The first button is for choosing the character type called Ethan. The Ethan character will be created because the text of this button is set to Ethan. I attached a script with a method called switch characters. And this switch characters is calling the character manager, the text component which is a child of the button is found and this contains the string for the character type like Ethan or rabbit. And with that parameter the set current character type is called.
When pressing the button Select Character, the method Create Character is executed. This one uses the text of the input field as a parameter for the create current character of the character manager. The input field is a public member of this script. And here's the next level. After selecting your character, a new level is loaded and the information is displayed in these text fields. The type of the character, the name and a description. I created a level load script and added the UI components, the text fields and the spawn points to it as public variables. Let's switch to the start method. I get the current character and move it to the position of the spawn point of this new level and then I assign the info of the selected character to the text fields attached to this script. So let's start the first scene and see this in action. Select the type first, like the rabbit, then define a name called Bunny, press select and then the level is loaded with our current character, displaying its type, name and description. Ok my friends, I really hope you like this video and this asset. And as I said, I uploaded this project to my Patreon account and if you are my Patreon, you can download it from there. Thanks a lot for watching. And if you have any ideas or comments, feel free to add them here to the YouTube video. Thanks for watching, see you soon.